to the state of emergency in California, where the governor is asking the White House for help. 1.1 magnitude earthquake has hit Southern California. On, in the yeah. studio here. And it is going for uh, quite a bit, everybody. Southern California are keeping their eye on Imperial County tonight. The San Andreas Fault is shown by the green line running from the Salton Sea in the south to the north for 800 miles through coastal and inland California. The fault is known for cutting California in half and causing devastating earthquakes that keep the U.S. government and Californians on edge. Recent discoveries suggest a worsening event. When will the San Andreas fail? Will California sink? Scientists are rushing to find solutions before the big event. Join us as we explore the scary signals that the San Andreas Fault is poised to crack and what that means for California and the world. For Californians, the San Andreas Fault conjures images of devastating earthquakes. It's a massive crack in North America's west. From the northern Gulf of California to San Francisco, this fault runs northwest for over 800 miles. The continual geological movement near its base, which causes earthquakes, makes this fault so dreaded. The 1906 earthquake still haunts Americans. Five years after a minor earthquake in 1989, one of the San Andreas's bigger secondary faults erupted in the Los Angeles suburbs. The fault line did not pass through the impacted towns despite the devastation. Some villages on the fault line are vulnerable to earthquakes. Let's look at how the San Andreas crack is about to cause the biggest tsunami in history. Point Reyes Station, Fraser Park, Daly City, Desert Hot Springs, Gorman, San Bernardino, Wrightwood, Palmdale, and Bodega Bay are vulnerable. Every Californian was worried when Southern California Earthquake Center Director Thomas Jordan warned of the San Andreas Fault's catastrophic state. Thomas says the fault line is critical and might cause a catastrophic earthquake. This new warning has worried Californians even more. Thomas said the Southern California fault line looks locked, loaded, and ready to go. A magnitude 7.9 earthquake erupted 185 miles between Monterey County and the San Gabriel Mountains near Los Angeles in 1857. The San Andreas system springs are tight from too much silence. The recent statement at the National Seismic Conference in Long Beach has everyone on high alert, wondering when and how severe the next earthquake will be. Californians are rightly worried about the San Andreas Fault. The Pacific Plate slowly moves northwest, relative to the North American Plate at this significant tectonic border. This action should ease 16 feet of plate movement every 100 years, yet stress has been building up for almost a century. Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, has warned that the fault appears to be critical and a major earthquake may be imminent. This San Andreas Fault segment is not the only one due for an earthquake. San Bernardino County, southeast in the Cajon Pass, has not shifted since an earthquake in 1812. From 1680 to 1690, southeast towards the Salton Sea was peaceful. Geologists found that the Pacific Plate is moving northwest of the North American Plate, compounding the issue. Jordan recommends that California prepare for a magnitude 8 earthquake. He commended Los Angeles for earthquake retrofitting apartments and concrete structures. San Bernardino County and other cities must follow suit to become earthquake ready. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti has been relentlessly preparing the city for the worst earthquake scenario. Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, praised his earthquake retrofits on apartment and concrete buildings. Jordan was surprised by this planned success, saying, Wow! These adjustments are politically tough! Despite these efforts, California remains unprepared. The state is facing one of its worst natural calamities as the San Andreas Fault breaks. According to the USGS, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake on the southern San Andreas Fault may produce 50,000 injuries, $200 billion in damage, and long-term interruptions. Coachella Valley, Inland Empire, and Antelope Valley residents could feel this tremendous earthquake for approximately two minutes. The San Gabriel Valley and East Los Angeles, where sediments trap shaking waves, 
may experience significant shaking. The sewer system might be down for six months, causing 1,500 deaths. To prepare for the worst, this situation is critical. Strengthening Los Angeles' dangerous aqueduct and telecommunication systems is another priority. California must act quickly to reduce the damage and deaths from a major tragedy. The 1857 Fort Tejon quake shows that the San Andreas Fault may wreak massive devastation. This 7.9 magnitude earthquake, which started in Monterey County and moved south past Fort Tejon to the Cajon Pass in San Bernardino County, gained its name. Soil liquefaction and tree uprooting in Stockton occurred during the one to three minute tremor. Despite running through Los Angeles, the San Andreas Fault is 30 miles away from downtown. This distance doesn't make the city safe. Due to its proximity to the San Andreas Fault system, a significant earthquake is predicted to shake the city severely. Thomas Jordan and his team produced a magnitude 7.8 fault quake to show the devastation. From the Salton Sea to the San Gabriel Mountains, the simulation shows how seismic waves can influence Los Angeles. Another simulation depicts earth shaking from northern San Diego County to Barstow. The Southern California Earthquake Center simulated a magnitude 8 San Andreas Fault earthquake in 2010 using a supercomputer. The simulation replicated the 1857 earthquake but was stronger. Due to soft soil trapping vibration, the LA Basin and San Fernando Valley are struck strongly. Jordan says, you can see that this shaking region has extended to tremendous dimensions. The fault's directivity pulse excites sedimentary basins like the San Fernando Valley, Los Angeles Basin, and San Bernardino. Long-lasting shaking in Los Angeles. What would we call the San Andreas Fault in the simulation? Plate tectonics states that the San Andreas Fault separates the northern Pacific and North American plates of the Earth's crust. The strike-slip San Andreas Fault is caused by the northern Pacific plate advancing northward past the North American plate. During the early 20th century, plate movement has been 4 to 6 centimeters per year, while geologic time has seen 1 centimeter per year. With such activity, the next big one is imminent. The 1906 San Andreas Fault earthquake caused some portions to move 6.4 meters. Others still call the San Andreas a transform fault, but knowing this can be confusing. Imagine two pizza slices on a table, one pepperoni and one anchovy. Pepperoni crumbles onto the anchovy side as they slide past each other. The fault does this, making the rift's geology and landforms complicated and unpredictable. Despite its risk, tectonic plates move only a couple of inches every year, around the same rate as your fingernails. This action isn't constant. Sometimes, the plates lock together and don't move. This reduces motion to a few inches every year. When the strain ultimately breaks the rock along the fault, the plates can abruptly slip several feet, sending out earthquake waves in all directions. The San Andreas Fault is more than an undetectable crack in Earth's crust. It's visible in portions of California. Visit the Carrizo Plain in San Luis Obispo County to see this powerful fault. Marin County has the fault's scarps and pressure ridges. Some areas of the fault are hidden by brush and alluvium or haven't moved in years. In cities like Los Angeles and San Bernardino, roadways cut through mountains of fine, powdery, crushed rock from moving plates. The San Andreas Fault is a 30 million year old geological masterpiece. Rocks from different places have been driven together by plate movement and collision, generating a diversified rock type on both sides of the fault. The Selenian block of granite in central northern California came from southern California, and the Ninoc volcanoes in Los Angeles County are the other half of a volcanic complex that begins 200 miles southeast in Monterey County. The San Andreas Fault is a tribute to tectonic activity and nature's beauty, regardless of whether it's in North Mexico. Several San Andreas Fault myths and stories are untrue. The fault can create big earthquakes, although megaquakes of magnitude 10 or higher are fiction. Scientists found no flaw long enough to cause such a big earthquake. The San Andreas Fault while substantial at 880 miles long, is not quite long enough to create an earthquake of this size. The fault length determines earthquake magnitudes. Hence, longer faults cause stronger earthquakes. On a nearly 1,000-mile fault in Chile, 
the biggest earthquake ever recorded was 9.5. Predicting earthquakes is another fallacy. Scientists are working hard to forecast earthquakes, but there is no reliable way to predict their time, place, and magnitude. We're researching it, but it's not yet possible. Finally, while the San Andreas Fault is unlikely to generate a mega quake, the San Francisco Bay Area and Southern California are at risk of a big earthquake. Experts estimate a 60% chance of a major earthquake in these places within 30 years. With an earthquake, you must know the hazards and take precautions. Scientists can now anticipate earthquake ground motion despite the San Andreas Fault's unpredictability. Engineers and building code developers need this information to make structures earthquake resistant. Due to its proximity to California's vast population and infrastructure, experts remain concerned about the San Andreas Fault. Nevertheless, nature lovers can enjoy exploring the fault. The fault has several quiet routes for family vacations, camping, bird watching, and rock collection. Like beads in a thread, state and national parks along the fault offer breathtaking views of wildflowers and wildlife. Scientists and geologists are still unsure when the fault will release its stress. San Andreas earthquakes are notoriously devastating. Everyone wonders if the next one will be as powerful as the 1857 Fort Tejon earthquake or the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. The San Francisco earthquake leveled structures and killed hundreds. The great Fort Tejon earthquake felt through Southern California was the largest. Parkfield in Monterey County was the earthquake's epicenter, not Fort Tejon. The rupture began northwest of Parkfield and traveled approximately 360 kilometers southeast along the San Andreas Fault. Fort Tejon, the rupture's midpoint, experienced more damage than other sparsely inhabited Southern California locations. The 1857 Fort Tejon earthquake was larger than the 1872 Owens Valley quake and similar to the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Scientists analyze the fault to understand its behavior and prepare for the next earthquake. What are your thoughts on the video? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel before leaving. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.